All right, so today you want to learn how to do some rotation like Neji. Well, make sure you learn it right so you don't end up forgetting how to use it. <coughs> First, you want to get your clips together. Create a composition and drag everything in. Let's trim the portions of the video so we can see which parts to keep and which parts we don't want. Now we will do this rotation with null objects. Nulls are basically empty objects that hold data or data or, or that whichever one. Nulls are very efficient when it comes to any motion effects or transitions because you can overlap them and parent them to each other so you can do very smooth transitions. I will cover this in another video specifically for nulls so you can guys can see how that goes. So create a null object by going to layer, new, null object, or use the keyboard shortcut, control alt shift y or command alt shift y on Mac. What we will do is rename this null layer, change the name of it to rotation one, so you know which clip this is for. You can also reposition it on top of the first layer by using control left bracket to bring it down a layer. So to make nulls work, we have to make it apparent. How the system works is when we parent link the footage layer to the null, rotation one, the footage layer will copy the same transforms as the null. So if we rotate the null, it will rotate the footage. If we scale the null, it will scale the footage, and so on. To parent the layer, we must use the parent pick whip. If you go to the timeline, it is this little swirl icon under the parent and link category. So let's drag the footage pick whip to rotation one. Perfect. All right, so now it's time for the rotation. Select the rotation one layer, press R to bring up the rotation, and set a keyframe at the beginning, leaving the value at zero because it's the start. Now move on to where the two clips meet. You can hold shift while dragging the playhead to snap to where the clips start or end. Then change the rotation value to 90 degrees or negative 90 degrees. It depends on which way you want it to turn. 90 degrees will go right, negative 90 will do left. Just remember that the next clip will be the opposite. For this tutorial in particular though, I'm doing the rotation to the right, so we're using 90 degrees. Now we have to continue the rotation on clip 2. It's simple. Select clip 2 and create another null object. Let's rename the null to rotation 2. Now we will parent clip 2 to the rotation 2. Okay, so let's recap. For clip 1, the rotation goes from 0 to 90 degrees. So we have to go the opposite direction for the second clip, which would be negative 90 and back to 0. Let's select rotation 2 and press R on the keyboard. Now let's start the rotation at negative 90 degrees. Go to the end of the clip and remember, you can hold shift while dragging the playhead to snap to where the clips start or end. Then we would change the rotation value to zero. Now let's check our work. Oh my goodness, it's, it's amazing. Look at how beautiful this is. The artistry, the immaculate movement, the exceptional quality. It's, it's, I'm joking, I'm joking. Time to make this thing smooth and groovy. Now before we start messing around with the graph editor, let's tidy this thing up a little bit. Trim the null layers with the alt brackets. Alt left to trim the start of the layer to the playhead, or alt right to trim the end of the layer to the playhead. All right, there's a graph editor time. Select rotation one and press R again. You can either click the word rotation beside the stopwatch to select all of your frames, or just drag a box over the two keyframes as well. By default, the keyframes are linear. You can tell by the shape of the keyframes. We want them to be smooth and have handles we can drag around to make the movement smooth. That's why we use easing. And After Effects has something called Easy Ease, which eases the frames. So right click one of the frames while you have all of them selected. Go down to Keyframe Assistant and click Easy Ease. Or you can use the shortcut and press F9. It's time to go into the graph editor. Make sure all the keyframes are selected and click the graph icon. If your graph looks like a mountain, that's a speed graph. Kachow. We don't want that. We want to be precise. We want it to have value. So click this button down here that looks like a menu or option screen and change it to Edit Value Graph. Now it should look like this. Now we want the rotation to ramp up, start off slow, and start building up speed. Kachow. We don't want this graph. We don't, we don't get enough speed. But if we start making changes like dragging this first keyframe handle more so to the right and bringing this second keyframe handle downward, it's like a roller coaster. Ex except there's there's no more track after the second keyframe, so I, I don't know how that would go. Anyway, let's check what we got. Looking good. Now we have to do the same with the next clip. I would do the next clip quickly without any commentary because it is the same process. The only thing that is different is the shape of the graph. So I will show you that one as well.
Okay, we don't like these extra edges, so let's get them out of here. Go to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile. Set the output width and height to 200, or more if need be. And click Mirror Edges. This should make edges start tiling, but also mirror the source footage so the edges are very smooth. Alright, we're done. And to make it look even better, let's add some motion blur to it. We'll click the motion blur box. If you don't see it, then go to the bottom of the timeline and toggle switches and modes. Now turn on that motion blur and be happy about your creation. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments. Also, if you know someone whose rotations look like this, then share this video with them. Make sure to leave a like if this helped, subscribe if you want to see more, and make sure to join the Discord. That is all for this video. I hope to help and that you can apply this to many other effects as well. If you use this tutorial with anything, link it to me and let me see what you got. But alright, I'm headed out. You all stay creative. God bless and I'll see you all soon. This has been Mo Visuals and I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching.